Hey guys, so we are back again with the June Beauty Heroes box. And I'm super, super excited to tell you guys about this month. Um, I mean, I'm always excited. I think I say that every month. Um, but I'm like doubly excited about this month because the products are beautiful, the message is beautiful, the line is beautiful. Um, yeah, just everything about this collaboration in this month and this line I just I absolutely love. So if you remember last June we saw Hanua skincare featured for the first time which is a Hawaiian skincare line. Um, they previously only had four products two of which were featured in the Beauty Heroes box last year. Um, so it's been exactly a year since they've been featured. Um, the Aloha Youth Serum was the hero product and then the Olena Beauty Oil um, was the sidekick last year, both full sizes. Both products I really, really love. I did a demo of all four products um, on my channel last year. So the cleanser and the beauty water as well as the oil and the youth serum. So since then, Hanua has launched three new products, um, two of which we're actually seeing in this month's Beauty Heroes box. So a couple of months back, um, actually it was like January, February, um, they released the, and I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> Hawaiian words, um, it's the Aina mask. I think it's for land lovers. So this is their sort of like stimulating, plumping, um, detoxing face mask. It is honey based. Both of the masks that they have now are honey based. Um, um, but the rest of the line is vegan. So the, the hero product this month is vegan and then all the old line is all vegan. Just the two masks are not. Um, I do actually have a demo of this up on my channel as well because um, it was featured in another box when it launched. So I can go ahead and leave that up on my um, in the description. I will leave the link to last year's Beauty Heroes video. I will leave the link to this mask's demo. Um, but I absolutely love this mask. This is actually my second jar. I did just recently finish up my first jar of it. It really is great. Stimulating and plumping and detoxing and I just absolutely love it. Great ingredients, great price. Um, that's something that I love about Hanua too is the, the price point is really fantastic for the quality and the ingredients and the performance. So what we're seeing this month is the launch of the Ocean Lovers Collection. So we have the Hero product, which is Malu, the Protecting Day Cream um, SPF 30. So it's their reef safe sunscreen. And then there's the Moana mask, 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 um, which is the Ocean Lovers mask. So the Aina mask was for land lovers. The Moana mask is for ocean lovers. So let's get started. I'm super excited about this collab. Um, I've known about the masks. I knew, I knew about them both, I think, before um, the first one launched. And then I knew that she was coming out with a second one and the sunscreen as well. So I've been, I've been eagerly anticipating um, the launch of these two products because I just I haven't been able to wait for them. And they are just as good as what I've been waiting for. They're fantastic. So the Hero product, like I said again, is the, the sunscreen. This is a full size at one ounce and it's $42. So I'm gonna read a little blurb about the whole um, reef safe um, sunscreen, you know, that whole thing. Uh, so Green Beauty has finally cracked the code on creating silky sunscreens that don't leave a gleaming white residue on the skin. Yet many of the ingredients still used in sunscreens may cause a bleaching effect somewhere far more detrimental, the coral reefs. With 14,000 tons of sunscreen running off into the oceans each year, it's estimated that less than half of the world's coral reefs are considered healthy today. By 2050, nearly 90% of reefs are expected to be at risk. So Hanua Skincare is doing something about it. True to its name, Hanua considers the planet with each new formulation. When it was time to research and develop a protecting day cream, founder Kapua Browning committed to creating a formula that was reef safe using non-nano zinc oxide as a physical block and other reef safe ingredients. Beauty Heroes proudly introduces the exclusive launch of Malu, a sheer lightweight moisturizing sunscreen that marries traditional Hawaiian ingredients, hydrating aloe, detoxifying laukahi, I think I'm saying that right, and repairing noni into silky, a silky residue-free and reef safe SPF. Aptly named after the Hawaiian word that translates to shade, shelter, protection, and peace. Malu exemplifies holistic beauty in the most universal sense. Um, so the ingredients in this, so water, glycerin, um, it does have some coconut derived ingredients, but I haven't had a single issue with it clogging pores, breakouts, anything like that. So it does have safflower, um, Hawaiian, the laukahi, la, la, <laughs> 
Um, noni, aloe, sweet almond, jasmine. So it does have a very light jasmine scent. Red seaweed, shea butter, um, which again I haven't, I don't have an issue with shea butter on my skin, so that sort of depends on your personal skin, um, vitamin E, and then a couple of other coconut derived emulsifiers and ingredients and the like. So this is probably my favorite sunscreen to date. Um, Beauty Heroes has featured a sunscreen every summer that I know of. I know they featured Suntegrity the first year that they were around and I wasn't a member or an ambassador then. Um, then I think the next one that they featured was Cary Gron. Last year was Josh Rosebrook. Um, and then we did see a little mini sunscreen of the De Mamiel um, Daily Hydrating Nectar two months ago, um, which is fantastic. I did buy a full size of that. Um, but this is the one that they're, they're featuring as their hero for the summer, and I absolutely love this. This is my favorite non-tinted sunscreen that I've used in a really, really long time. Um, the, the De Mamiel Hydrating Nectar is my favorite tinted. <laughs> um, but I've actually been reaching for this one like all month. I haven't even touched my De Mamiel. Um, this wears so perfectly under makeup. There is no pilling. It blends in seamlessly. It smells amazing. It leaves my skin like silky smooth. It really is just like a super gorgeous formulation. Um, and I just, <laughs> this is definitely my favorite hero sunscreen that Beauty Heroes has featured. I just, it's non-greasy, It there's no white cast like I said, there's no pilling, um, so it goes great over any, any skincare that I've used it with. I actually have been um, experimenting with a vitamin C powder that I've been mixing in with my Aloha Youth Serum that works amazingly well. Um, I'm also mixing in the Olena Beauty Oil in with a moisturizer that I'm using. So I, I do use a moisturizer and then I use this on top. So. I think it's sort of like the, the, the Josh Rose brand, where it's sort of like marketed as a day cream, but I use it on top of a moisturizer. I, I don't think I could use this as like my only day cream, but like I said again, there is no problems using products underneath or on top of it. I've also, I also use the Fit Glow Redness Rescue Cream underneath this, so I do, I do that step first after my moisturizer, and then I put this on, so I do a lot of layers. There's a lot of stuff that goes on my skin, and I never have any issues with you know, makeup not sitting well, um, you know, skincare not playing nice, like the pilling thing again, like I said. I did have a problem with the Josh Rosebrook pilling, um, like around like my hairline when I would use too much skincare, um, but I have not had that problem with this. What else can I say about it? So I've tried a makeup primer on top of this and that works beautifully. I also have used this as just a makeup primer and that also works beautifully. I did just put this on today. I did not put a makeup primer on top of that. So this is sitting on top of my makeup really well. My skin looks really like fresh and smooth. And I did use pretty much everything um, from Hanua's line today. I did mix um, the cleanser in with some exfoliating grains to get my skin nice and prepped. And then like I said, I did mix the Aloha Youth Serum in with some vitamin C powder and I mixed my Olana Beauty Oil in my moisturizer. Um, I did do the masks on another night. I did not do those today. So I absolutely love this. This is gonna be my, pretty much my only um, untinted SPF, I think, because the formula is just fantastic. She really got it right. Kapua did a fantastic job. Um, it smells beautiful. It's like very lightly jasmine scented. I love the pump on it because it actually locks. So for travel or if you've got toddlers who, you know, push things a lot like as mine does. Um, and then here is the texture of it. So I don't want to waste. I just did a whole pump, <laughs> um, but I'll just rub it on the back of my hands. But the texture is like lightweight. It's like creamy but it like blends in really nicely. This might be a little bit too much to blend into my hand, but we'll see how it does. Oh, it actually is doing a really good job. Um, so yeah, so that is, oh, it's just beautiful. If you love Jasmine, you're definitely gonna love this. So gorgeous. And it just is so smoothing. It really is like an, a fantastic cream too, because like the, the other side of my hand is not as nice and smooth and this side is very nice and smooth and now protected. <laughs> so I absolutely love that. There really isn't a whole lot more I can say about it other than what I have said. It's just gorgeous underneath makeup. It's gorgeous on top on, uh, on top of skincare. It's gorgeous on its own. Um, I'm definitely bringing that with me um, to Florida in a couple of weeks. It's perfect for that. I'll be wearing that every single day. Totally love it. So if you're looking for a fantastic face sunscreen to get you through the summer or just, you know, whenever, 
um, you definitely want to try that one out. It's just a fantastic formula. And it beats pretty much all of the other Green Beauty sunscreen formulas that I've tried in terms of ingredients and texture and price and scent and effectiveness, just everything. So the sidekick that we're seeing this month is another full-size product. So Co-Heroes, I always like to call them, especially when there's two full-size products. So again, it's the Moana mask. Um, so I love uh, Hanua's masks because they're exceptionally priced for the ingredients and how well they work. Um, both of the masks, I believe, are $38. The Aina mask is already for sale, or has already been for sale on the Beauty Heroes website since it's launched. These did just come up on the site today um, since it's the first. So it's $38 for 50 mil, which is a decent size. You'll get 8 to 10 masks out of that, which is great. Um, so the ocean is a place we instinctively gravitate towards when we need a little R&R, &R, um, which is true for me. I am going to Florida in a couple of weeks to the beach. Um, its magnetic pull is both calming and revitalizing for body and soul, inspired by its almost myst mystical healing and regenerative powers. Hanua Skincare created uh, Moana, a balancing, replenishing treatment mask named after Mother Ocean herself, blended with blue-green spirulina, organic Hawaiian honey, mineral-rich kaolin, mineral -rich kaolin, bentonite, and French green clay. Extracts of the Lao Kahi, um, a species of plantain used in traditional Hawaiian healing, is combined with comfrey and tamanu to promote promote detoxification and skin regeneration. Precious, sustainably harvested Hawaiian sandalwood, neroli, and Bulgarian rose hydrosols offer deeply hydrating benefits and a grounding aroma. A touch of jasmine boosts skin immunity and leaves a trace of delicate floral lingering in the air. Um, so yeah, most of the ingredients we did talk about already. Let's see if there's anything I could find in there that we didn't talk about. Pretty much no, jasmine, rose, um, neroli, there's a little bit of citrus, um, witch hazel, willow bark, aloe, comfrey, um, licorice, and then the clays. So this one is more of like a green color. And then the Aina mask is more of like a gray. It does have a very light, like jasmine rose scent. It's gorgeous. Again, if you love jasmine or rose. Um, this is my favorite of the two masks, actually. So I have used up an entire jar of the Aina, and I do, or is it like Aina? I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, I know that. Um, I have used up a whole jar of this, and I do really love this, but of the two, I definitely prefer the Moana mask. I find that it just makes my skin incredibly smooth, um, like plump, and it does feel like regenerated and rejuvenated, and it just, I love this one so much. Um, they're both great. I really would give both a try because they are very affordably priced and the quality of the ingredients are fantastic and the effect that they give your skin is actually really, really amazing for the price that they are. So I definitely would still give the other one a try, um, but this is by far and away my favorite. Kapua was showing, um, I think it's a spa that she works with or something, it's the some back bar, I don't know. She had had humongous sizes for this, this one spa, I think. I, I messaged her and I was like, I'm gonna need a big jar of that Moana mask because that is truly amazing. So I am really, really excited that these both showed up in the Beauty Heroes box this month. They're totally fantastic. Um, and if you didn't know already, um, Beauty Heroes actually went to Hawaii with Hanua. Marina was there. A bunch of other brands that um, Beauty Heroes regularly works with came. They cleaned up an entire beach of plastic and it was just an amazing thing to watch and witness and I wish I could have been there. <laughs> um, and so in honor of that, um, Beauty Heroes is actually including a glass straw in every single box. So this is a skip the straw uh, campaign. So Americans alone use 500 million straws every single day. That's mind blowing. Um, which aren't recyclable, they end up in the oceans and kill marine animals. So switch to glass or really any reusable straw or just skip the straw altogether. Um, environmentally friendly, reusable, and incredibly eco-chic, your Beauty Heroes glass straw makes you suck in the best possible way. Carry your glass straw with you throughout the day and say no thanks to disposable straws at restaurants. Um, be part of the conversation around our need to come together and reduce our plastic consumption. So I already use um, silicone, or not silicone, uh, stainless steel straws actually. And this is definitely one that I'll keep at home. Um, glass makes me nervous, especially like, you know, out and about. I definitely keep my stainless straws on me at all times when I'm out. Um, this one will be for the comfort of my own home. It even comes with a little straw, uh, brush cleaner, 
straw cleaner brush to clean it. Keep that thing nice and pristine. And it says Beauty Heroes use less, love more on it. It's just so, I love, I love that Jeannie does what she can to, you know, help more than just, you know, us, but the environment. And she really is a fantastic woman and she's got, you know, the best intentions in all aspects of, you know, her life and her business and everything. So, um, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't really have a lot else to say about the products other than just rave about them because they truly are wonderful and fantastic and amazing and I, I love the whole Hanua line in general. It just, it's really great for my skin. My skin just like loves them even though they're not, they're not really acne focused I don't think, but my skin does really well with them. Um, so yeah, definitely check out the two previous videos I did, um, the demo of the four products and then the demo of the mask. Um, I love both. I love the whole line. I just love, I love the packaging, like the, the bamboo tops, which isn't something that, you know, new. We've seen lots of bamboo, but it's like a dark wood bamboo with a frosted glass. I mean, you guys know how I feel about frosted glass. Just a couple of other little things. Um, the Love More promotion this month is a deluxe sample of the Love, uh, what is it, the Nectar, the Rose Nectar Drops from Osmia. I have tried those and those are beautiful. Um, a sample of those was actually featured in a previous um, Beauty Heroes box, I think a couple of years back actually now, maybe two. But those are beautiful. Um, and then there's lots of new additions to the Beauty Heroes store. The other exciting thing that's launched in Beauty Heroes store recently is the Ayuna Ama, or it's Ama. Um, I'm not exactly sure on the pronunciation of it. It's A-M-M-A. -M -M -A. It's their travel kit. Um, so you can now buy all of the Ayuna products, the soap, the cream, either one or two, um, the essence and the balm, which is their sort of detox volcanic glass mask, um, is available as all travel sizes. So every single one is a travel size. I think it's retailing for $175 in the Beauty Hero store, which if you, I mean, you know those products are uh, the price point of those products. So to be able to try all, every single one of them, that is a really great deal. And Beauty Heroes is giving a portion of each sale. For the month of June, they'll be donating $10 from each sale of the set to a charity supported by Melissa, um, who if you don't know, she is planted in nature over on um, Instagram um, to support the EDS research the Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome research. So that's really, really exciting. Um, I've met Melissa many times um, in person and she's fantastic and beautiful. I don't know if she actually watches my videos, but she's an amazing woman. And if you suffer from EDS yourself, definitely check her out because she is a great resource and very knowledgeable um, since she does suffer herself. There's a couple of other exciting discoveries in the works that will be coming soon. Um, so I can't share anything about those yet, but there is some exciting stuff um, coming and Really, that's all I've got for this video. Um, yeah, so definitely subscribe this month. Um, the sunscreen is fantastic and the Moana mask is totally beautiful. It's definitely a new favorite mask. And I actually did, I did a video with Gilbert when we, and we masked with this. I don't know how, I haven't edited it yet. I don't know how much of the footage is good and it's gonna make it up or not, but um, I'll see what I can do with it because <laughs> it was interesting. Um, but yeah, so this is a, a fabulous month to subscribe for and I hope that you guys do and um, check out the other Hanua products. Check out the other videos that I did if you didn't, if you have not watched them already and I will see you guys in my next one.